Hello, welcome back to the Pace Studios. We are live now with Great Lake Swimmers from Toronto. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for taking the time to come do this. Um, you're going to share with us three songs today. Two of them are off of the, the upcoming album. It's coming out on um, August 17th on Network called The Waves, The Wake, and, um, and one older tune. And can you tell us about what you're going to start with? Yeah, we're going to uh, start off with the song that was um, released as the first single for the album earlier this year. Um, it's a track that we had our friend uh, Mary Lattimore play some harp on it. Um, we're going to try to recreate it with uh, regular old guitars. Um, but uh, yeah. Sort of a similar timbre-ish. <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> a little more portable, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll give it a try. It's called uh, Falling Apart.
you. All right, thank you. That's a beautiful song. You created a really beautiful atmosphere in here, so thanks for sharing it. Thank you very much. Um, how did you feel about the, the harpless arrangements of, of that song? I, f I mean, we were going for some different things, you know, on the album and um, uh, different sounds, you know. I tried to put down this guitar as much as I could and, and try to expand the uh, sort of the acoustic palette so we've got a track that's like all marimbas, you know, for example, and one that's a cappella and one that has a harp on it. And we've used different, you know, congas and lutes and we recorded in a church that had a pipe organ just sitting there, so we thought, why not, you know? Um, they're starting to become more and more rare these days, the, the old pipe organs, and they're, they sound really cool when you open them up um, and uh, let, her, let them rip. So, um, yeah, we've just been trying to do something a little different, to take stuff away more than add stuff, though, you know, and overall keep it as a pretty minimal sort of approach. So Cool. So yeah. perfectly suited for, for an environment like this. It yeah. Sounds great. Totally. Um, yeah. Aside from the instrumentation, aside from that pipe organ, um, were there any other ways that the fact that you recorded in this 140 some odd year old church um, changed the, the sound or the vibe of the record? Add to it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think recording in acoustic spaces, there's there, there becomes this extra sort of imprint on the music that's like, you can't quite put your finger on what it is, but it's there's these extra sonics there, and it's the sound of, I think, you know, people playing in a room, you know, that is, you know, maybe becoming a little bit more rare these days, but, um, it, you know, it's partially the, the sonic layers, you know, that get added to it, but it's also part of the part of the process. It brings a real performance out of you, too, I think, when you're in a space like that. It makes it more special somehow, um, especially in singing and vocals and acoustic instruments. Um, you know, it it, it just um, it adds to the end result, but it also just adds to that the whole the moment, the process to being in it, and and it's a I think it it draws a really nice extra special thing out of it. You know. Cool. Well, I'm I haven't had a chance to listen to the record yet, but uh, for anybody just joining us, it's the waves, the wake, and that's out on August seventeenth. And so thanks for. Uh, playing some songs and previewing the album for us in advance. And can you yeah. tell us about the second one you're going to do? Is this off the forthcoming album or is this one of the... Yeah, no, we're going to do another one, another new one. So this one is called um, Alone But Not Alone. Um.
Thank you. That sounds great. Um, so New York got to see you last night. You played that uh, the Standard Hotel in the East Village as part of that, that Annie O series, which sounded like a ton of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a really nice crowd, too. People were really tuned in. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah. And there's plenty of upcoming dates. So the uh, there's a few dates between now and September 13th, but uh, the, the U.S. and Canada, the North American tour really kicks off in earnest on September 13th. And uh, back here at the Mercury Lounge in New York on October fourth, maybe we cross paths again in this room again yeah. if you got that if you got time. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. we have enjoyed uh, this thus far. This first two thirds of this stream. We'll be coming around with the full five piece band too um, in in the fall. So um, we'll have a few more people up here playing very quietly as well. <laughs> nice. And is yeah. that what is the five piece that played last night at the at the village? Uh, no, it was just the three of us. Okay. Yeah, we're just here in New York, like doing a kind of presenting the new songs in a in a kind of an intimate sort of three piece way. So what people are seeing live in. is pretty similar to what you're doing right now. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. I mean, like with with the full band, we have a drummer and and uh, upright bass player as well. Um, so that'll be, um, you know, that'll be the touring band, I guess. But for last night and for this, we were we're here. Nice. Sort of this um, so everybody watching this right now, the website, of course, is uh, greatlakeswimmers.com, which makes sense. Um, all the tour dates and all the info is there, so please do check that out. Hopefully everybody watching right now on the internet gets a chance to also see this live. Um, right. And so you've shared two songs so far off the upcoming album, The Waves, The Wake, and now we're going to hear a third not on that album, not from the upcoming album. Can you tell us about the next one you're going to do? Yeah, sure. Um, we just, um, our first three albums were just reissued uh, on a label in Toronto called Paper Bag Records. Um, and uh, so we've been kind of like going through that material a little bit uh, last year and a little bit more recently as well. Um, so we thought we'd play one from our third album, uh, which was the, the, the lead off track from that record. Um, just been reissued. It came out uh, in 2007, I guess. So um, yeah, but it's been one that's kind of stuck with us through the set, uh, or stuck with us through the years in our set. Uh, it's called, um, called Your Rocky Spine. Shapes 
well, great. up there. <laughs> Thank you for, well, warts and all. I mean, that's that's part of it. These things are live, and it sounded great. That, that Thank totally you. changed up the vibe with uh, it's like an Eastern European sort of a vibe with the uh, accordion happening. Banjo sounded outstanding. So thanks for coming and sharing these songs with us. Um, again, the album is The Waves, The Wake. It's out on August 17th on Network. Um, all the details are at greatlakeswimmers.com. Um, you've got the North American tour kicking off on September 13th, back here in New York City on October 4th, and yeah. capping the entire thing with a hometown show in Toronto on November 23rd. So don't expect anybody to remember any of that, but do go to the <laughs> website and check it out, and please totally. see this band live. Uh, thanks again for taking the time to come and do this. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah.